standards kama lumundi you can use let's use import to me save an amount of money and go to 15000 over a period of 7 years calculate the amount of money originally invested if the interest received was 13000 per annum simple interest 13% Yeah, simple interest. Sure. So, see for number eight, let's start with number eight. Yeah, yeah. E if I'm gonna put a P, it's P. Open bracket. Open bracket. Yeah. One. One plus I N. This is equal to A. I'm supposed to say A in the first. Mm. Okay. So it says A is going to be equal to P I N. This is number A. Okay, okay sure. P. Yeah, we want P. So the P the P is fifteen thousand. Where? Who P? But we are looking for P. Ah, eh, we are looking. No mistakes. <laughs> Is ambition. Yeah, let's collect the data. Let's check. What is our A? What is the accumulated amount? <laughs> It's fifteen thousand. What is what is our N? N. Yes. Seven. Seven years. It's seven years. Okay. What is our I? Thirteen. 13 divided by 100 okay it's going to be 0.13 okay let's go and substitute then now we know what is here okay? what is a 15000 so come and say 15000 and then this is going to be equal to p okay? and then we still have 1 plus 0.13 multiplied by 7 like this okay? and you can divide both side by One plus zero comma one three multiplied by seven. Even this side, okay. One plus zero comma one three multiplied by seven. And then this one and this one they are going to divide each other out, okay. And then what does it say? It says P is going to be equal to. So if you type this in your calculator, I'm interested in typing it in the calculator. Which how is it going to look like? Okay. So we are going to put it inside the fraction, okay. And then we have fifteen thousand. All over. It's one English plus zero comma one three multiplied by what by seven close bracket, and then you get what seven eight five three comma four zero, and then for something like this you will get it's one two. Let's give you two marks for it. Okay, number B boom. Per annum compound interest. So it's 13% per annum compound interest. Eh? So what are we going to do for a good one? It is equals. So we'll use the compound interest formula. Eh? Okay, what does the compound interest formula say? Let's check. It says A is going to be equal to P1 plus I to the power of N. Okay. Oh, we know what is a. What is a? It's fifteen thousand, and we're looking for p again, okay? and then we have one plus zero comma thirteen to the power of what of seven, and then we divide both sides by one plus zero comma one three to the power of seven. Divide by one plus zero comma one three to the power of seven, and then we check what is going to be our p. So I'm interested in how you type it in your calculator. Okay? So how are you going to type this one again? You say fraction again, okay? and then you say fifteen all over one plus zero comma one three close bracket to the close bracket to the power of what seven, seven. and what you get six thousand. In seventy five comma one, eh? Nine one. Nine one. Like this, no? Okay, you get one two eight 
two. Or, or you give yourself four marks then. 